So I've been wanting to make this video for quite a while now, but I've never really gotten around to it. But as you no doubt saw in the title, this is going to be about using shortcuts to your advantage and just messing around with your friends. So, you know, they're very useful. You can open up things, get to places quickly. Say you want to open up Chrome or something as disgusting as Internet Explorer. Okay, never mind. I'm oh, sorry about that. But uh, if you right click your desktop, this is what a lot of people don't know. You can go right on over to new, click on shortcut, and this right here is where the fun begins. Before you get any farther in the video, please note this is for Windows only, not Mac, Linux, or that thing called Chromebook. So make sure you and your friend both have Windows. So I'm going to show you a few things here. Uh, my favorite is this one right here you can type it see i've already done it before but uh, you can type down shut down that exe this is obviously going to shut your computer down now if you put a space you can put dash s which will tell it to shut the computer down then you can do dash t this is going to tell you the amount of time that you're going to put in Be for demonstration purposes i'm going to give myself a generous uh, 30 seconds and then you can put dash c this part is optional this is for a comment. So if you put a quotation mark, you can say something like, oh, I don't know. Um, yeah. Internet Explorer is junk. That is so true. Oh, there we go. Message from Microsoft Internet Explorer is junk. Use Chrome instead. All right, now it may not seem like much, but if we. Um, so that's our thing. If we go to next, we can type a name for this. I'm going to type in, inter whoa there, I'm going to type in Internet Explorer and a little bit, you'll see why, oh crap, uh, no, uh, I'll just name it two for now. I'll fix that later. Get the heck out of here. I am messing up so much right now, but see, name that thing, Internet Explorer. Now, if we head on, if we right click it, go on over to the properties. There are a few things we can click. We can go on over to change icon. Yes, we're going to use a specific one. Now, this is just a random list of things that are all over Windows. But if you go on over to browse, you can check everything on the computer. So we're going to go back. No, I'm not running Windows 8. That's just the name of the hard drive. I think it's in x86. Yeah, maybe. Somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Program files x86, that's probably just because of my processor, but if we go on over to iExplorer, which is also Internet Explorer, click on that icon, make sure that's highlighted, hit OK, that will change the icon. Now if we change the comment, well, I'm going to leave that for a little bit, but now we have Internet Explorer on our desktop. It's not going to open up Internet Explorer, but instead it's going to shut down the computer as we told it to. It's very fun to do. If you hover your mouse, it'll say shut down though. That's not very convincing. So if we edit the comment, we can type in the default message, which I can't exactly remember, but somewhere along those lines, access the internet. So this is where the fun begins. You click it. You are about to be signed out. Message from Microsoft and our explorer is junk. Use Chrome instead. Okay. I gave myself a generous uh, what was it, 50, 30 seconds? Anyway, I can't remember. But if you quickly go down to shut down that exe space dash a, that'll tell it to abort. So if someone were to do this to yourself, you can actually cancel the shutdown. So that's just something for you. Make sure you don't tell your friends about that. Otherwise, it ruined the fun. So you now have this Internet Explorer shortcut. What I love about it is you can pin it to start. You can pin it to the taskbar. So yeah, there we go. Pin it to taskbar. So you have it right here. I had it to where a friend of mine would always use Internet Explorer, so I messed with him. I put it in the start menu, I put it on the taskbar, and uh, for weeks he'd ke uh, keep pressing the darn thing, and uh, he'd flip out every time his computer was shut down. It was a uh, very fun time, and that's the main thing here. Now, something that might not be as fun, you could also create a shortcut for uh, Chrome making it look like Internet Explorer. So if you just use the thing here, iExplorer.exe. Wait, no, I can't even figure out what I'm trying to do here. Chrome.exe. Oh, never mind about that. I'm going to find it myself then. 
but you know this is gonna be easier take Chrome itself create a shortcut yes oh boy this is not turning out the way I wanted it to but Internet Explorer if you have yeah whatever wait which one's the real one though okay anyway man I am failing so hard at this but if you go on over the There we go. Okay, that swapped them out for some reason. The one is the original file from the original installation of Chrome. But this one, Internet Explorer 2, yeah, we can change the icon for that. We can go back to Internet Explorer, hit OK, and now it'll look like Internet Explorer, but when our friends click on it, it'll go to Chrome instead. And that's another little thing here. But one that can be really fun to do, in my opinion, is if you take... So once you find the icon that you can actually edit and work with, uh, right here, the target, this is the path earlier, this is where the shutdown.exe was at. And one thing that's really fun is at the end, you can put in any random website that you want here and it'll go to that website. Say you wanted to be productive and make it go to google.com, you could type in, oh boy, google.com, and it'll always open up to Google. Now, okay, I'm gonna close that tab actually. But if you wanted to troll your friends, you wouldn't just open Google. So, okay, let's see here. What would be a fun thing to troll your friends with? Mm -hmm. There we go. There we go. Wait, that's not a very good demonstration. Here we go. Yeah, that's more like it. So this right here, you just like any shortcut, you can pin it to your taskbar, your start menu, everything will always open up to never want to give you up. Uh, another very fun thing you can do. But there's a lot that you can do with shortcuts. Another thing that you can do is say you want to change the icon. We did that earlier. So you can actually use a custom icon. So you can do something like Chrome has its own set of icons, which I can't seem to find at the moment for whatever reason. But you can do something like Go to Google, look up some nice Chrome icons, like, uh, oh, I don't know. This one looks pretty neat. But the thing is, you want to make sure that you use a specific file type. So I clicked on Advanced Search, and you need to find, let's see here, uh, any format. You want to find an ICO file. Yeah, okay, there we go. Uh, you want an ICO file, that's uh, icon, make sure that it's compatible and all that, make sure that it looks good. Uh, so you can choose anything you want, say you wanted to use this one, we can save this puppy to your desktop to make this easier. If you were to do this on a friend, uh, it's easier to do it on your computer first, and then transfer the file over to your friend's computer using, say, a flash drive of something. Yes, I want to browse it. I made it easy for myself, saved it to the desktop, and now we can use this. Yeah, there we go. So we can rename this to, say, Google Black. So instead of being Google Black, oh, okay, it changed the icon for the other one. It's, I'm having a bunch of glitches at the moment, but it shouldn't do that for you. It'll normally keep the same Chrome icon for this, and then this will change to Google Black. So now you can save this to your flash drive, um, tell your friend that you have this cool new version of Google Chrome called Google Black. 
then you can transfer the file over and when they try to open it that's bad for demonstration purposes when they try to open it it'll just do this okay uh, enough of that but those are just uh, some of the best uses of shortcuts you can do a mix up like make this instead of linking it to uh, never going to give you up you can just change this and make it like a shutdown that exe thing again uh, you can just mess around with this kind of stuff uh, do a few mix up most important thing is just messing with your friends I love to do this it's just it's just too much fun to be sitting at the table across from them and seeing them flip out about their computer shutting down and things like that so hopefully this video was a good quality uh, the circle around my mouse is because I'm using a free program but uh, thanks to fightman1995 for telling me about this what is it screencast-o-matic I believe it's called uh, it's actually a very useful program my UCAM hasn't been working properly and uh, this has been working so uh, thanks to him for that and hopefully you enjoy this video I'm thinking about showing some stuff for command prompt uh, that stuff is really fun to do I'm just going to do a few demos here uh, this kind of stuff it may look a little odd at first but it is very fun so I'll do that eventually I'll get around to it don't know when can't promise it anytime soon but uh, once it finally is uploaded and finished and all that I hope you enjoy that too so uh, once again hope this was entertaining well it's probably not entertaining at all but hopefully you enjoyed this man I'm doing quite a bit of post video commentary anyway I uh, hope you have yourself a good one and hopefully these uh, few minutes of watching this wasn't a waste of your time the original chrome shortcut well okay maybe not the original I'm telling you, I'm failing so hard at this. Okay, it didn't create a shortcut, now did it? This is actually quite embarrassing. Can I find it? Can I refresh this app? I thought I could, yeah, refresh it. Okay. This is so weird. Yes, I want to create a new shortcut. Okay, is this one that I can edit? Yes, it is. Okay. That is just... I'm going to have to edit that out. It's just so bad. Anyway.